Hi everyone, it's Mike here, and today we have another recent release. This isn't strictly new, it came out a couple weeks ago. It is Berlin's Pleasure Victim. This was remastered this year by Scott Davies for the Rubellin Remasters label. And man, his label does some really good work. Scott remasters all these releases himself. He does the work in putting together the packaging. And then he maintains the website and ships all these orders out. Here's the back. Let's see. Got quite a few bonus tracks on this release. The original release has seven tracks and a bonus track. Whereas this one has the seven tracks and has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven remix tracks. And take a look at the art inside the booklet. Scott does a really good job on these. And I do have the original um, 1987 CD for comparison from Geffen Records. If we take a look in the booklet, we have a picture of the label on the vinyl, which he includes those on all of these releases, which is really nice. We got the track listing, and we got lyrics. Praise the Lord, we got lyrics. Ooh, that's cool. He's got the single album art on these. He does that too. The Metro. Cool. And then I'll show you the original 1987 CD for reference. Here's the, the CD. Is one of those standard looking CDs and then that's on the back cover on the remaster and then this original release I believe it does not oh it does have lyrics too cool it's got that same picture in black and white and we got the track listing cool and we got a picture of the band with the lineup and the original also has lyrics so I'm glad that both of them have it cool and it has a little summary of the band in it too all right we're about to rip the Rubellin remasters version let's take a look at it all right let's rip it So the reason I decided to do this video was it is a pretty new release. It came out September 4th, thanks to Discogs for the information. <laughs> I knew it was recent, but I couldn't remember how many weeks ago I got this release. Um, the Rue Bellin Remasters label, it's I'm pretty sure it's mostly just the work of the one person, Scott Davies. And I learned about this label first through the Steve Hoffman forums, which I've discussed a little bit about in previous videos. The Steve Hoffman forums are such a great resource for people to talk about music and masterings and various releases, surround sound, audio hardware, all sorts of audio related stuff. And I believe Scott posted that he was starting a label and I found that thread a while after he started, and the first release I ever bought was, um, I believe, The Anvil by Visage, which was a, they were an 80s kind of new wave act that contained, um, I don't know how you pronounce his last name, but Midge Ore, or, which is kind of like a stage name, I believe, but he was in the band Ultravox. And I believe it also contains the keyboardist from the band Ultrabox. Anyway, I first found out that that release was getting reissued through Rubell and Remasters, and I purchased it, and it was fantastic. The sound quality was great. The packaging was great. The booklet had some had excellent artwork, had pictures of the labels of the 
original vinyl release and of the singles. He does a great job at including the single versions, single edits, or single remixes that were available around the time of release. And yeah, I just wanted to highlight his great work that he's done with his label. If they're if you like 80s music, even if you've never heard of the bands that are on the label, you should check out Rubel and Remasters. And I'll pull up his site here. RubellandRemasters.com Rubell and Remasters releases dynamically remastered audiophile quality CD reissues with a focus on 80s new wave and classic, classic alternative. All of our titles are officially licensed and factory pressed. And then it has a list of the recent releases. And I believe I have all of these up to the Rick Ocasek Beatitude, which is a fantastic release as well. All of these remasters that I've listened to, I have these first eight, and they all sound good. There's two Berlin albums, Pleasure Victim and Love Life, and you have the self-titled Visage album and The Anvil. Then you have the Fade to Grey singles collection. Then there's The Best of Fingerprints and Divinals followed by Rick Ocasek's Beatitude. I've listened to all these. They all sound great. They are all audiophile quality. They're great CD releases. The work he is doing is fantastic. Highly recommend this label and buying directly from their site if you want these releases. They are available on Amazon, but you should support them directly from the site so he gets a bigger cut. And like I said, I do have the Discogs listed as a 1987 CD release. I'm not sure if that's the exact year that it came out, but I do have that version and I showed it to you earlier. It has kind of a kind of a thin sound, kind of what you would expect from an 80s album. You know, kind of a thin new wave electro synth pop kind of sound that you that I'm sure you probably recognize from a lot of 80 CDs but one great thing about these Rubellin remasters is that he does Scott does such a good job at making it have like a full warm kind of true to life full thick sound on all these releases and I did do a brief listen of this album before I started ripping it and I can definitely tell from listening to it it has more of that warm kind of full sound that you'd expect from kind of an audiophile quality CD release these days and just it's incredible that in this day and age that there's still interest in CDs, that people are still interested in remastering and finding these kind of releases to reissue. Like that's just fantastic. And I really appreciate Scott's work. And the last thing I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to take those tracks that I just ripped and I'm going to take a look at them in Audacity because I think part of the thin sound in the original release is just because it's not mastered very loudly at all. And I'm sure Scott re-equalized it to give it more of a full sound. We'll take a look at the first track, which is titled Tell Me Why. And... I'm not the biggest Berlin fan. I tend to buy releases from Rebellion Remasters, even if I don't like the artist that much because they're that good. But I will say that this album is very solid kind of 80s new wave synth pop, you know, type of music. So on top, we'll have the, the 1987 Geffen Records CD. 
And you can see it, it's not very loud at all. It's very quiet. And that's going to be part of that really thin sound. But obviously with something that's quiet, you can always turn it up and it's going to sound pretty good. But the Rue Bell and Remasters version just look much, looks much fuller. And it's probably been re-equalized in... I don't even have to listen to it to necessarily know that I, Scott probably did a, a freaking amazing job on this like he has all of his other ones. I did do a brief listen before I ripped the CD and I started this video and I it did sound better to me when I compared the few tracks that I listened to. And I'm just going to look at the spectrogram real quick. Cool. Yep, looks good. I've taken a look at a few releases recently that uh, <laughs> haven't sounded the greatest, especially that Eddie Jobson CD. That one didn't necessarily sound that great, but uh, I'm expecting good things from listening to the rest of this disc. Once again, I highly recommend that you uh, support Scott's Rubellin Remasters label. Again, that's rubellinremasters.com. And, yeah, check out his selection of releases that he's worked on. It's He's doing really good work, and people doing this kind of work nowadays should be supported because you don't know when how long this stuff is going to last. You don't know how long he's going to be able to, you know, keep doing this unless he gets support from people. So hopefully, fingers crossed, he keeps going and keeps getting more and more releases out there that sound great in just reviving these 80s classics, really. Okay, thank you for watching, and once again, support Rubellin Remasters. He's doing good work. Thanks.